Mm-hmm. All right, I have a, a good one here. What is your input in regards to the Mediterranean diet versus the keto diet? Ooh, it turns out Mediterranean is the best. Mm-hmm. It's the most heart healthy, cancer healthy diet you can take. And in that diet, it's concentrating on healthy foods, which means five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables every day. And then you can see that little, the three circles in that diagram. So it shows you the keto diet, the Mediterranean diet, and how they overlap. And they do overlap. Mm -hmm. And what they overlap in is they overlap in as low carbs, okay? Carbs drive obesity. Carbs drive um, blood pressure problems. They, they, they're increasing the rates of diabetes. So the first thing we can say that we all agree is that one, the diet is something that you eat. It's not something that you give up. Right. So you should think about your diet as something that you can eat for the rest of your life. It's a change in your behavior. And it's not just giving up something. You can have a donut rarely. I ate one yesterday. Me too, it was in the, the greatest thing. <laughs> I would have dug that donut out of the garbage. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> I literally I ate a half a donut that was in the box it in was the delicious. trash can. It was delicious. Yeah. And I was glad to do so. Okay. <laughs> but I don't eat donuts every day. Right. I pretty much live in that keto Mediterranean middle thing where I eat fruits and vegetables. I like them. I don't eat a lot of red meat. And just remember, what Dr. Coulter said is paramount. It's something that you can continue for good. A diet, like a keto diet, a lot of patients say, I went keto, I went keto, past tense, okay? (laughs) And then they get back off the keto and then all of their weight comes back. So do something you can sustain. If you need pasta, have pasta a few days a week. If you can cut out the bread in the morning, do it. If you don't need it, don't do it. So it's just little changes.